Hi Blue Class, I hope you're well. <clears throat> this special Sunday story is all about dragons and it's called The Trouble with Dragons. That's a lovely first page. I bet lots of you could do some paintings like that. The trouble with dragons is dot dot dot. Dragons make dragons and they make some more till there are wall to wall dragons making dragons galore. Oh yes, look, you can see all the eggs on the page. More and more dragons. Then dragons start spreading all over the place. Soon their houses and roads will take up all of the space. Can you spot the dragon's eyes in the traffic lights? Dragons eat all the food and drink all the drink and use everything up without stopping to think. They also throw parties and make loads of noise and leave their huge mess after playing with their toys. I'm sure you don't make any mess after playing with your toys, do you? <laughs> Sometimes it's good to make a big mess. It's also good to tidy up after yourselves. <laughs> Dragons chop down the forests, which melt, uh, which melt both poles and puncture the atmosphere full of big holes. Dragons blow out hot air, which makes everything hotter and hotter and hotter until all the snow melts and the ice turns to water. We were thinking about that in blue class, weren't we? Our planet getting hotter and hotter and hotter. We decided it wasn't a good thing that our planet was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Then the seas start to rise and the deserts expand until everything's covered in water or sand. Say goodbye to the world in which you were born. Soon everyone else will have packed up and gone. Oh no. Even Santa had to pack up to go. Everyone looks a bit sad on this page. Everyone except the dragons. Poor dragons. Gosh. Imagine a world with no birds and no bees. Just dragons as far as a dragon can see. Don't go, wailed the dragons. Don't leave us alone. A world without wildlife is no kind of home. Can you tell your grown-ups which animals you're grateful for and maybe why? I'm grateful for the bees, the bees putting pollen in all of the fl different flowers or taking the pollen from the flowers. If you stay, we all promise to do what it takes to look after the planet for all of our sakes. As the waters rose higher, right over their knees, a voice said, OK, start by not chopping down the trees. What else could they do to look after the planet? Goodness, that's lots of water rising, rising, rising. Not much land left. Then all of the animals chimed in with advice from the greatest of elephants to the smallest of mice. Can you give your advice? Advice on how to look after the planet. 
Eat food that is grown much closer to home and leave the wild places and the ice caps alone. That's a really good idea, isn't it? We talked about that, didn't we? Trying to make sure that when you're eating the food that it's grown in our country rather than having to fly here from another country which causes more pollution. Stop blowing all that hot air, but instead choose to walk. We're super good at doing that in blue class, trying to aim to get our golden boot in Charlton King's Infant School. And put less of our world at the end of your fork. Respect all Earth's creatures and cherish the land. Recycle, reuse and reduce your demands. Or we would say demands. Oh, that looks so much better. All of the trees growing back, all the wildlife coming back and Happy animals and happier dragons. So, if you know a dragon, and most of us do, ask it if it thinks that this story is true. For if we can't see that our stories are linked, then sadly, dragons will soon will soon be extinct. Can you tell your grown-up what extinct means? Or can you think of any other animals that are extinct? Oh, that's the last page. A different season to the first page. What season do you think this might be? That's right, it's winter. I know in blue class we are so good at being eco-friendly. We have so many amazing ideas that we can use to be eco-friendly. Can you remember our eco-code song from our school? Maybe you can sing it to your mummies and daddies. It's lovely to see you. I'll see you again soon. Bye blue class. <laughs>